Hello everyone, this is Borak from Trading Channels. Today is 29th of January and this is a free weekend video update. Trading Channels is a technical analysis uh, educational website. Uh, we also provide trading signals, uh, charts, intraday charts, videos um, on several asset classes including stocks, stock indices, forex pairs, commodities and cryptos and feel free to to try it um let's have a look before i make it too long because it's going to be a long video um let's start with s p mini contract uh the action on thursday and friday were extremely important especially thursday's breakout and um the signal that came for a buy buying opportunity is the blue resistance that held in the last spike to the upside it came down this goal the purple support which was broken afterwards came back uh, held as support um, and you can see here together with the golden bottom band the golden top band was here this is the first touch this is the second and third touch and we had a major push and it's not only that blue resistance that was broken on Friday on Thursday and Friday. So this red resistance, one, two, three, four, even five, on Thursday and Friday, we cleared both of them together with the blue resistance that has held three times, one, two, and three. This is the fourth touch, and we cleared it. Um, the initial push call was caused by the green resistance was uh green resistance is back test this is the second deep back test we pushed on now the red and blue they are both broken this was a beautiful um especially on the one hourly chart you can see that was a, a bull flag that was broken back tested and we kept on pushing so the expectation from my side is that this blue and red double resistance that were broken are not going to be broken back um, and they will hold as support so the minimum yes should go would be around 4070 if it wants to back test the red and obviously the the blue one has already been back tested and that blue one is all the way from 2022 january right here December, January time. So December 21, January 22. This is a very definitive breakout for my money, which is why I bought it. And I think we're gonna get all the way to the green top band, which is at 4,250. That green top band is speculative resistance at the moment. That is a potential resistance of a potential bull flag formation and if we get there which is quite possible that we get it we get them inside the golden top golden channel so if we get to that golden top band maybe pull back and then push on all the way to 4250 or so um that could be a double resistance which would be a nice shorting possibility but until that time i'm going to be keeping the long and to run all the way to the 4,250 level. We also have a gap somewhere here at 4,225, and that gap I expect is gonna be filled, okay? So that gap fill together with that green plus golden double resistance is a critical level, and we will, of course, watch the price action when and if we get there but at the moment i think this friday thursday and friday action is very bullish for the short to medium term and that's why i think by the dips is on well it has been on since the purple support purple plus golden double support break you can see that purple resistance that held this was the support it held as resistance and it was broken back tested deep back to small damage on that and kept on going i was thinking maybe before we get there it's going to get to that red bottom band and then a rally which didn't happen you can see 
that red internal support held quite a few times and it was you know it it held and it kept on pushing higher do we have more downside very very possible if that green top band holds we may see one more big pullback um, but remains to be seen dow jones uh, for the short term i think this is the worrying part because that red resistance so let me put it on the on the longer term first okay back in october we back tested this blue broken major resistance you can see it where it was the first back test and then we came in october we back tested it twice here but more importantly that golden bottom band was tested for the second time and then the push following the break out of the golden bull flags first back test and this is the first second and third second third and fourth back tests here they both they all held which means this bull flag is a perfect bullish uh formation uh we may be forming this triangle at the moment and once that triangle if and when this triangle breaks of course it will open the way for new highs um this here is for the short term is varying yes so yes has broken but dow jones has stalled at this resistance rail we may get a back test or we may get a pull back all the way to the green bottom band and then a break to the upside of this red resistance rail would be of course very bullish uh, at the moment i take it as a formation of a triangle um, and we of course watch all the other markets uh, for for bullish or bearish uh, hints nasdaq had broken this red uptrend you can see here and it had back tested it here and then it came down this purple major resistance support line has been very instrumental these are the levels where you know every time it revis it visited this golden sorry purple support re uh, resistance zone every time it reacted to it so it's been a very very instrumental uh support resistance line it basically separated the midterm action okay uh which brings us to the question whether this purple resistance lines w whether they will play roles and i think they will there is a very good chance the golden resistance rail was cleared on thursday and friday while it stayed inside this black very steep uptrend the initial resistance zone is going to be the green top band obviously this could become a, a bear flag so nothing is um uh, it's not really out of the woods well nasdaq i'm talking about nasdaq dow jones is looking much more bullish but nasdaq has to go through these overhead resistance levels which is the purple the red the green and then get to that very top purple and then even if it pulls back we have to break to the upside so there are quite a lot of question marks on the bullish case but at the moment for the short to medium term the fact that that golden resistance is broken is looking very good um russell which is the small caps is extremely bullish in my view and the reason is very clear so let me put this in a in the actually the long term excuse me that daily chart um right here okay so this purple resistance that was broken right here it was back tested there back in 2020 like second half of 2022 rallied came back down and you can see how many times it has tested that golden resistance um you can see there were three touches one two three these two were news induced they were like cpi or j powell speech they both failed and then finally we bro broke it out came back for a back test that was the perfect back test on that golden support 
and now we, it is broke breaking out of this green bull flag okay this was the confirmation the second touch reversal that is a confirmation to second touch two touches here this is a bull flag and now it's breaking to the upside which makes the 2000 2050 level as the potential target this blue support is holding as well and of course this purple top uh, purple uptrend is also intact which means for my money i think we're going to get to that two thousand dollars level two thousand points level and then we'll see whether it can keep on going um let's have a look at this level here yeah that is just going to be around 2020 2030 level that red top band is going to be the potential resistance FTSE is one of the most bullish uh, markets uh, after years of lagging um, UK market has broken this golden resistance after trying quite a few times at 7600 it cleared that golden resistance this is 2018 as you can see here the golden bottom band held a few times and this is the october low we broke back into the red and back tested the red as well as support the blue channel is very much in control and if we look at the short term let me go to the two hourly chart i'll show you right here that green resistance is holding the red re resistance is broken and got back tested so if this green one breaks, I think we're going to get to that uh, 2,850, sorry, 7,850 level. And then we'll see whether we get a bull flag formation or the start of a bull flag formation right there. So that red top band is the initial target. If the green resistance breaks, maybe we see a pullback and then a break to the upside. The ultimate target is 8,000. 500 level and that is that major top band right there so that is going to be 8500 uh, dax is also extremely looking extremely good um, let's go back to the daily chart why i think it looks very good forget about all these lines okay just disregard those for the moment the break of the green resistance and its back test was extremely bullish and we had a major push there is some news action here which we back tested and we erased all of those gains and then it pushed on breaking this red bull flag and even back testing it later so i'm going to switch no let me not switch it yet this blue resistance okay right there it was a support held as resistance and then pushed on and to break it and we had a beautiful back test at 14,900 and since then it's been bouncing again so let's have a look at the well two hourly chart there are quite a few lines there so bear with me bear with me uh, if you look at every color on its own it will make sense to some of you not all of you but to some of you uh, the golden bottom band, the golden internals are very good, which makes the golden top band as the potential target. The, the blue resistance rail is holding at the moment. It has to be cleared to keep on pushing all the way to the golden top band. Obviously, the black one is also looking good. So I may put uh, another touch or another line. Oops, sorry. That's there. That's there, that black top band together with the golden. So if we start a major rally, I think that that black plus golden is going to be around 15,450. That's what I'm expecting uh, that DAX is going to go. But that multi-year resistance, that blue one that I explained on the daily chart is looking very, very good. Um, let's have a look at the 30-year bond. All right, that here, this is the 30 year treasury bond. The green bottom band held, this is 1982 or so. 
and three touches on the top, two touches at the bottom, that bounce. What else do we have? Um, we have this blue resistance right there. It was a support, it was broken. It's now back testing. The golden channel is broken, which means I think it's gonna keep on pushing all the way to the red top band. Maybe we get another pullback, but I think it's gonna to get to that red top band initially before it comes down. So if it breaks that blue resistance, which is gonna be around 132, 133, we're gonna keep on pushing all the way to 137, 138, that red top band, and then possibly we will see one more down move. That blue channel is a bull flag formation. So eventually if it, we break it to the upside, that will be it actually. Um, and I've been calling for interest rates coming down since what, uh, September, October time. Uh, the reason is of course, also from TLT, that golden support held, the red channel, that steep red channel is broken and back tested. The purple resistance together with the blue one, they are both holding at the moment. If it pushes beyond 110, I think that will be the major breakout to all, to take it all the way to 120, 125 band, which is the green top band. Um, 110 is the critical level for TLT. And this is a 10 year note. Okay, let me put this into long term perspective. This is 199, uh, sorry, this is 2000. The top band red, the bottom band red. So that held and it has now broken back beyond that blue resistance and the golden channel is broken. So I'm thinking it's gonna get to that green top band, maybe one more pullback and then a break to the upside, of course, that bull flag formation would be a major breakout to basically bring the interest rates further down. So these were the indices and bonds. Let's talk about oil. So I'm starting the commodities right here. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the long term view, but short term. So this purple resistance was broken and the back test I share everything every day with the members and uh, through video. So I make a sim similar video every single morning to cover all these markets and that costs 20 quid a month. So I think it's the bargain of the century. And where I shared this one, that purple broken resistance is going to get back tested and we're going to keep on pushing all the way to the black resistance. And here we are. It touched that black resistance together with that green, that is the four touch, four touches green resistance that explains why we broke it, uh, broke that red channel. So that, that's why we reversed. The red bottom band broke, back tested twice, actually three times. You can see one, two, three times. And from there, it sold off. Where where do we go from here? Hard to say. I'm not making any predictions at the moment, but at, uh, but for now, I reckon it's going to come to that blue support rail. Yeah, the reversal took it down, and the blue support rail is going to be around 78, 78, 50, and then we'll see whether it can keep on running towards uh, that black resistance. The major break. It would be, of course, whether, I mean, when and if that black resistance breaks. You can see it held so many times and the level for that is 83. If US oil breaks 83 level and the green top band, which doesn't stand a chance if the black top band, if the black support resistance rail breaks, then we're going to push all the way to the 85, 86 level that is the blue top band. Clearly the blue channel may turn into a bear flag. So I would be of course, watching out very carefully for that kind of formation. Okay, if and when we get there, everything is based on price action and nothing else. So I'm not making any predictions at the moment. Uh, it's all the time about lines, about correctly drawn lines. Uh, let's have a look at Brent oil, the UK oil. Very similar to the, um, so 
let me put this into first of all this blue top band all right okay after breaking that black channel it got back tested rallied and it came down really hard to back test that black broken channel one more time and from here i said it's gonna keep on pushing all the way to the blue top band and here we are that blue top band is holding at the moment that rail um, more importantly after that reversal this purple uptrend was broken and i said that black bottom band is going to be a potential support after the break of that purple channel so we broke it back to sit here came down to the black bottom band right there that was the first touch this was a potential support but then once it bounced it became a real support the third touch real support rallied to back test the purple third back test so three back tests and now the black bottom band is breaking which means we have at least for the short term more downside for oil okay the real breakout would be of course if it can break this blue top band right that blue resistance has to be broken all right so i'm gonna i can also may argue that the blue bottom blue top band or the blue bottom band is this right here with leaving a little bit overshoot here that blue resistance okay how many touches one two three four touches on that blue top band if it can be broken later on at some point it's going to get to that red broken support which is going to be around 92 92 50 and that will be the next major resistance i believe you can see here that was broken back tested here before it came down really hard that red one is going to be the line in the sand and more importantly that golden channel so that golden top band right here so that is major triple support here since and since then we had a major bounce that's why we bought brent oil and we made some good gains but i'm not going to keep it on when i see reversals like this one natural gas has shocked me to be honest i had tried to buy the dips twice and both got stopped and um, the reason is which I'm, I'm going to explain it in a minute so this red top band which was at 10 right here at 10 the bottom band was here and i said back then the 10 if this red top band holds we're going to see at least a 40 50 percent drop because this is a major channel formation if we see a reversal it's going to come down pretty hard there were some short-term reversal patterns as well there which i'm not covering right now that red top band is a major resistance now which caused a 75 percent almost 75 percent drop since august that is astonishing uh drop for any commodity in a few months it dropped 75 percent um quite astonishing yeah what else happened um i was hoping that this green support right it was a resistance look at this that was back tested back tested and it was broken right here during like at 325 it cleared it the next major support zone is this previous or basically that internal green support that was broken and we are almost there and the level for that is 725 right around here at seven, two excuse me 270 275 okay but if it wants to really crash then this purple broken resistance says back test is going to be around 220 okay um and if we look at the daily chart why i was buying <laughs> was because that blue top band here the blue bottom band there and the golden top band here that blue channels back test or the, the blue bottom band test i thought it's gonna hold here and break that golden top band i should have waited i didn't i should have waited for that break of that golden top band 
Well, I thought, okay, I'm buying this third touch on the blue and rally. Well, that's not what happened, is it? Um, and it kept on crashing. So I'm going to show you the eight hourly chart. Even this golden bottom band is broken right there. That's why I'm saying it's astonishing weakness. That blue, golden, everything is cleared. And you can see that golden one is also back tested twice. So if we see more downside, as I said, 275 is, um, sorry, two, what was that? 275, 272, that blue, uh, sorry, green support is gonna be, yeah, it's it, come, it came very close to that. I'm gonna put that, let's put it right there. Yeah, 2675, okay? Around 270, we may see a major bounce, but yeah, don't hold your breath. Uh, that is not gas. Let's have a look at gold. This is futures chart. That blue bottom band held, okay, right there, um, which means we may get to that blue top band. But if we, if we see a break of this blue bottom band, then the red bottom band is going to be next potential support again. Like it's a support, not potential, but it's a support. So we may see more bounce. And of course, this golden uptrend. I'm going to show you th that was the futures chart. It differs from the spot chart. I'm going to show you that spot chart, that golden channel right there, the golden top band, the golden bottom band and the red bottom band. So if we see a break of that red bottom band, we may see more downside. Um, on the other hand, obviously, um, let me show you that red bottom band is also a potential support, just like the futures chart. Let's put this in blue. All right. So that red blue bottom band is potential, next potential jump. So the two touches on the bottom, two touches on the top. So if we see it there and then a rally, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, platinum has the most beautiful bull flag formation, but do we have a breakout? No. And I'm still hoping that it's going to break out eventually. That red top band, the red bottom band has three, four touches right there. One, two, three, four. This is two touches here, two touches there. So three touches on the top right there. Okay. If we see a bounce right now from this golden, the purple, the black, this is a triple support level. The green channel is intact. If we see a break out of the green and clear the blue resistance, I think if it goes beyond 1040, we may get a touch on that red top band and 1100, 1095 would be a major breakout. This red channel is a gigantic um, bull flag from 1350. This is 2021 February, right? That's like two year bull flag formation. Okay, let's have a look at Forex Euro. I'm starting with the weekly chart right there. Yeah, this here is 1980s, the bottom band touch, the top band touch. This is year 2019-93 or so. This gigantic purple channel is broken to the up, to the downside, right? That is extremely bearish for the long term. On the other hand, the bounce off the green bottom band right there is bullish. So if it eventually smashes through and breaks back into the purple and clears this black top band, obviously, and that level is around one, what, one, 17 or so then of course euro is going to look very bullish again but the real challenge is going to be when it back tests this purple broken gigantic support and that level is going to be around 112 112 50 and then i would expect a reversal there for it to come down one more time 
of course, the break out of the blue channel was very bullish. That explains why we have this current rally. Look at this, many, many tests, and we had the breakout. Um, I'm going to switch to the daily chart to show you a bit more, well, granular view. Right here, that red uptrend is intact. Even the top bottom band was not tested just once. It has tested only once. Uh, if this blue resistance top band breaks, I think we're going to get to all the way to 112.50. That's the major back test on that purple. Otherwise, if it comes and if it breaks this blue support rail, it comes to the red, and then maybe we can keep on pushing. Pound sterling has a bit more clear view. Okay. Right here, that. All right. There we are. Okay. The golden downtrends. Okay. That is a major downtrend from 2021. Its breakout has caused a major push. And it eventually back tested, back tested this purple broken. So you can see that purple channel was broken to the downside, which caused this waterfall action. It got back tested once here and a few times right there. So here we are after the break of this blue bull flag, right? And back test, you can see a beautiful bull flag and it's back test. We had a major push. Now this golden resistance together with this purple, they are holding. But I think if this black bottom band holds, we're going to see it pushing beyond 124.50. If it breaks beyond 124.50, it would be a buy signal to get all the way to 126, 127, even 128. Okay. US dollar Japanese yen is inside this giant red downtrend, which is coming up now. Right. That red downtrend is intact. And it has quite a few touches on both sides, right? Okay. Actually, two touches on, on the bottom one, two, almost three, third touch. And the green broken resistance was back tested. And it's still, you can see how many touches on this green support. The purple, the blue, so it's kind of stuck and we have to watch out very carefully what happens with this red top band, okay? If we can break that red top band, then that would signal US dollar strength. Um, however, if it keeps on coming down to break the purple and blue and eventually green, it could come down further. So it is kind of stuck between these forces. Uh, the US dollar index uh, my computer is getting really slow now right there so I'm going to switch to the weekly chart that golden major broken channel right it may get back tested at 100, just below 100. And that will be the decision point for US dollar. All right. And we are, we, what, what happened recently is that it cleared this green support and it also cleared this blue bottom band and it's still below this blue. So it hasn't really broken back into the blue, which means we may still get to that 100 or 99.70 or so to back test that golden broken resistance. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Aussie dollar outlook as only long-term. The blue downtrend is very much intact. Look at this, three touches on the top, two touches on the bottom. It has to break that blue, that golden, sorry, red top band to move. And that level is around 72.50, 73. And before that, we may see more downside for Aussie dollar. Very similar chart on Kiwi. And Kiwi's downtrend is even looking better. So that is a major bull flag formation. Okay. It cleared out of the screen and it's still, it's trying to push. 
it touched these resistance levels like that overhead resistance and a few times and i think if it breaks that i think we're going to see 767 65 inside this golden uptrend all right okay let's all look at coins i'm going to switch to the bitcoin that that green channel that green bull flag was broken to the upside and then the ftx scandal came up that fiasco um but that red i'm um, so it which broke that red support together with the green what happened afterwards was quite interesting so i had mentioned quite a few times that this rectangle if it breaks to the upside we're going to get a back test on that red broken support and finally as i i said a few times we need a bang to break that red resistance and that's exactly what happened it banged this is ftx uh, uh sell-off and it recovered and now that black resistance is being forced like this is here that is a four hourly chart here right one two three four broken back tested and it's getting back tested again and I, it looks like it is very eager to break that resistance and the minimum target is 30 31 000, which is going to be the back test of the blue broken support so i'm going to switch to the daily right there when it cleared okay when it broke that blue bottom band and it back tested it and finally it cleared this golden channel to the to the to the upside broke it to the downside and that's where the the, the bear market started mostly i mean mo the big most of it happened here and there was quite a few supports that were broken i deleted those but i think now we have more upside if the black resistance breaks ethereum is the same and it is now i think two weeks ago two three weeks ago you may all remember the break out of this rectangle at 1355 and i sent the the signal to everyone by 1355 to reach 1600 and that's exactly what happened in about one week's time we were already up by 200 dollars now what do we have here the black top band is the ultimate target at 2,600. That blue resistance may hold maybe another pullback and then a break to the upside is gonna take it to 2,600. Um, Zcash is breaking this blue resistance now. So it's looking very good. I'm gonna to switch to the daily to show it a bit better. So this is the double support, that red plus blue. And now it's breaking this level resistance and it's going to get to that red top band maybe another pullback and a break to the upside it is going to test that golden resistance it would it would test that golden resistance for the fourth time and a, a break to the upside is going to would look very bullish at the moment this double support is the deciding fact deciding factor that blue channel was broken back tested and back tested here and i think it looks very well wow litecoin i've been covering litecoin for quite some time and today's action is extremely extremely important and the reason is very clear right so the green resistance was back tested and it was broken back test as support the blue top band was holding and the red resistance was holding now it's breaking to the upside by litecoin litecoin is going to start a big run doge is still lingering inside the blue bull flag and i reckon it's going to break it eventually and around 11 12 cents it would break that but it's just not really very strong matik oh wow matik is extremely good and the reason is very clear initially it was very bearish because look this golden channel was broken to the upside that was the bullish view the black channel that black bull flag was broken and it ran all the way to the green resistance at 130 came back down 
and it came to break that blue mega uptrend. But what happens is now, again, as I covered this morning, sorry, this week, it back tested the blue. Now it's breaking back into the blue channel again. That is extremely bullish. If a down, if an uptrend breaks and then it's broken back up, that means it's doing something that I can't see at the moment. And all I can see it is this blue channel and it's breaking back into the blue channel. That is very, very bullish. And it would get even more bullish if this golden, sorry, green resistance zone can be breaking, broken to the upside. The level is 130, 135. Anything beyond 135 would look very, very bullish. Shiba, this was the double support that red, you can see a beautiful bull flag was broken, right? And then the crash came for a back test on the red and the golden bottom band as well. So that three touch or four touches golden support. And once we see a bounce, I said that golden top end is potential resistance. And here we are. It came and then golden channel was broken. This is FTX fiasco. Now the green bull flag is broken. It's going to get to that blue top band, maybe another pullback and then a break to the upside. I think Shiba Inu is ready for a mega rally from here. Um, Solana is forcing that green top band. I think it's going to, if it breaks, it's going to press on and break that red resistance as well. I'm not going to cover all these because the video is getting too long. I covered those, I covered those for the members, video members this week. I may cover them as they come along. So it's gotten quite a long video now. I hope this benefits to all of you guys. Feel free to do a free trial, or if you want to go for the video, daily video, I do that five times a week, and I cover all these markets that I just covered, okay? Have a good rest of the weekend. Bye, guys. Take care.